Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my revised reaction to One Punch Man Chapter 123. Apparently, it got some redraws and some new dialogue and stuff, and uh, a little um, interest was expressed for it to be uh, reacted to, so I'm going to do it. Um, also, this might be totally unconventional of live reaction because, you know, if there it's only a few redraws and stuff, like... A lot of the dialogue is probably going to be the same too, and you know, so I, I may like consult to see what changed, so I'll have both versions open up just so that I can kind of, you know, see what's going on. Um, but yeah, okay, same title page it looks like, real form, still being the title, um, and it's saying Murata wasn't satisfied with ch uh, the chapter and how 122, 123, and 124 transition and transitioned into each other so he did some redraws to the last page of 122 and most of 123 and it now follows the webcomic much more closely well i don't read the webcomic but okay there are also some changes to the dialogue so i translated them viv okay viv i trust ya okay s class rank 10 hero pig god getting eight though we kind of know how that went Unless, surely that doesn't go a different way now. Okay. Um, uh, that's what you get for looking down on me, old man. Yep, yep. Still getting carried around by your pig, your uh, ponytail there, huh? Atomic, the yes, S-Class Rank 4 hero, Atomic Samurai. Yep, still grabbing your sword. <laughs> uh, that really pissed off Grip. Um... What's the matter, S-Class? Aren't you going to revive again? Or can you not do that anymore? The S-Class rank 8 hero. Zombie man. Yep, still the hole in the torso. Let's see. Also, I like totally missed this the first time around, so I'm glad I was. it was brought up to me. But um, when we see Child Emperor and everything, like he says drugs don't work either, I like totally just didn't even register with me so so drugs don't work on water boy so yeah evil natural water i i'm not sure what could work on him because if he could like be vapor or vaporized but like the moisture still in the air because he absorbs moisture from the air so like could he reabsorb himself i don't know he's a tough cookie to crack <clears throat> drugs don't work either ah I'm a genius prodigy. My own... Oh, wait, I haven't read that hour. <laughs> My arms are almost all used up. Yeah, you should have, like, backpack backups. Um, let's see. Now's the time to come up with an idea that'll turn things around. Come on, think. There's something that has to work. I'm a child... Or, I'm a genius prodigy. Oh, my sugar levels are running low. Well, let's hope you're not a diabetic. I'm sure that's just to, like, boost, like, you know. Because non-diabetics will be like, oh, I think my sugar levels are low. My focus is kind of waning. Because I even do that. And I'm probably borderline diabetic. Runs in the family. Uh, let's see here. The S-Class Rank 5 Hero, Child Emperor. And here's Purry. S-Class Rank 17 Hero. Don't give up. Believe in the power of love. If I keep deluding myself, uh, I should be able to recover to the point where I can walk again. Angel deep breaths. Purry, purry prisoner. And here comes Funhouse Mirror time with a my mask. Um, ah, keep that ugly face away from me. Ah, you dumbass. Uh, stay away, you ugly monster. I, I said in the podcast for this ep for this chapter that like what if he has like a creepy ass backstory like or at least it's creepy to him that like he was and it's very normal because i'm sure it's happened before but a my mask being a my mask as a child he like got lost in like a, a fun house and like you know how they have those room of mirrors and stuff where like you just see it's like a maze of mirrors and you have to find your way out but it gets confusing what if he saw like an ugly um like attendant that was trying to you know get him out because like his mom like lost him through the fun house or something and it was like oh no my child he's lost in there and it's like don't worry ma'am i'll get him and then he's ugly as sin 
And then a mime mask, he's like, What's all these ugly people doing around me? Stay away! <laughs> you know, kind of deal. And maybe that's where, you know, because we know that um, Fear Ugly does, like, psychological warfare as well. So I'm wondering if that, like, he triggered it, and then that's what a mime mask is seeing. He's remembering that, but he's replacing, like, that attendant, at least in my weird backstory, with Fear Ugly. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the A-Class Rank 1 Hero, Handsomely Masked Sweet Mask. <clears throat> I'll just say you're a mom mask. It's easier to say. A-Class Rank 2, um, I, 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 Sword Boy. <laughs> I don't know. Knight Samurai. That's what he should have been called. E-Iron, I guess. Um, A-Class Rank 3, Akame Itachi. A-Class Rank 4, Bushy drill, all still beat to hell. And here's that nice composite shot of like all of the active um, dragon executives, so that's nice. These top heroes are only considered monsters in human society. On the day the Hero Association came into contact with a real group of monsters for the very first time. And okay, um, so they're like either because we're seeing this next page and it. You know, it's got, like, Zombie Man, Atomic, and they're like, it's like, we, we gotta level up kind of deal, you know. Being prepared to face death for those who have attained power beyond humans, that is not supposed to be their destiny. Today, they are not prepared to die, and Pig God wakes up and is like, oink, motherfucker! And... It doesn't... I mean, he's supposed to have, like, bulletproof skin. So... <laughs> um, I'm not really... Because there's a lot of blood there. But, I mean, like, you would assume if it's a powerful enough threat, it probably would do some damage, and, like, he has a regenerative factor. So he's basically the blob with a little bit of Wolverine thrown in for the... thrown in there, you know? And also a weird reference because I there's like a there's like an old Marvel character. I think he was like Matter Muncher or something. He was like this kid that could just eat whatever he wanted. So basically that's Pig God in a nutshell. Anyway, okay, you see the shards of glass, which I that is a weird scene still looking at it. You know, like with all the shards of the mirrors and just around a my mask like the other thing made more sense but eh, these composite shots sometimes weird imagery is just for fun um and we got child emperor still in the water and their minds a long forgotten feeling has begun to reemerge. fear in reality it wasn't the first time humanity had made contact with a threat of this scale and oh Oh, it's the toilet monster. I think I remember this. <laughs> I remember seeing something about them interrogating a, like a monster on the toilet, a or not atomic, pff, a, a Saitama and Flashy Flash. But as long as he remained indifferent about narrating his combat service, no one would know of, or have any way of knowing. <clears throat> okay, and there's the. I always forget this dude's name, but he's like the the big nose guy of the. The Hero Association. <coughs> oh, excuse me, in the Hero Association, there's also no one amongst the officers who expected very strong monsters, who expected very strong monsters would make the S class heroes struggle. I mean, Tatsumaki's not really struggling, <coughs> you know. Still, the reason why he was so confident in the battle power of the Stripe team was, well, it was because of Tom's Monkey. And it's like, I'm not worried. Though I'm a little worried about some of them, but she'll pull through. Yeah. Her, the S-Class Rank 2 hero, Tornado of Terror, was participating. She is a being that nothing in the world would hope uh, to defeat in a frontal attack, rather than the S-Class Rank 1 blast. <coughs> I do want to know why he's called Blast, but then again, 
Why is Bang called Bang? His real name's Silverfang. Or no, wait, his, his hero name's Silverfang. I would call him Bang or Blast. No, Bang. Too many. You got Blast, Bang, and Bomb. Kind of similar because they all involve explosions. And then my brain just starts musical chairing them around or that game where you have like something under the cups and it was shuffled around and it's like which one is it that's my brain when those names come up but like bangs is real name silver frings is hero name brain get your shit straight um let's see here uh blast who doesn't yeah just what is, why is he called that is it just that when he punches that things kind of explode <laughs> Or is it like Saitama where the wind pressure gets you along with the force? <laughs> um, who does not uh, carelessly stand on the uh, center stage. She is treated as the association's final weapon. <clears throat> However, her opponent this time... This is, what in, this is what's inside of Guru Guru. So this is her, its real form. Took the opposite approach to frontal attacks. From start to finish, from the instance they met... She had splendidly avoided Tatsumaki's attacks. Yep, with the meat puppet. Wait a minute, what the hell? Isn't this just a regular lump of meat? You only pretended to be cornered in order to mock me. She tore apart the, the giant meat wall with great durability with her psychokinesis. She even ripped out the body similar to my own size that I buried for easier control. Not putting myself inside the meat puppet and controlling it was the right decision after all. I mean, what would have been like the... I mean, sure, it would have been like, I guess, a durability suit, but still, like... If you're psychic and control shit, it's like, why would you ever put yourself in harm's way? Let's see here. And all the eyes, like, she has, like, that telepathic, like, daisy chain of eyeballs, which is weird. Why eyeballs... Could have been just about anything else, but I'm 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 definitely thinking that like having eye like eyeballs from like maybe psychic affinityed beings like probably gives more psychic power, <coughs> but I'm not sure. So that's probably where all the eyeballs are, unless they were genetically engineered. Maybe I don't know. As expected from someone whose power frightens her own sister, uh, the other S class can be dealt with using battle. Uh, co yeah, compatibility all except Tatsumaki she is a get or she's giving me a headache I'm at my wits end that said if homeless emperor and black sperm join forces they can kill anyone yeah that's brought up a lot of debate like do they work together presumably not but it's a hypothetical situation because saying if you know it's like because she would have otherwise said were they to then that would have implied that they probably have, but then again, that's still kind of an if situation, but a little more clearer, maybe? I don't know. It's important to gather multiple dragon levels together under, or it's impossible to gather uh, multiple dragon levels under normal circumstances, but the Monster Association filled with all kinds of vicious members is like a miracle. That it is. First, I will wait for the cadres to eliminate their target heroes. Then I will instruct them with telepathy to corner and surround this woman, while I observe the whole thing from even deeper underground. How deep... What am I... S this is definitely not the room she was in before. She's got a female Orochi. Which, we actually saw, like, a female-looking Orochi. Like, she was normal human size. She was, like, a background character that just got wiped out. I forget by who. It's been numerous chapters ago. But, like, why do you have these, uh, this lab in such an exposed, like, stairway shaft? That's a stupid thing. Not even the monsters know where the real me is located. Well, if they look down this shaft and have good eyesight, lady, this is a good plan. I can prepare a new puppet. Oh. But that does look like a Rochi. Like, you can see, like, the tentacles coming out of her head. Because you see the boobs, so you know it's a lady. But then this one has, like, four arms. Maybe six arms, because it's kind of branching off of the elbow. 
but you also have these up here and then you have ones that have like big eyes and then there's like two mouths like one vertical and one horizontal and it's got what looks like legs for arms or little dinosaur arms um, and then you've got some over here none of them look like the Goro Goro puppets so that's interesting unless you're talking about a puppet as in like Orochi which is also possible oh here oh so that was just the angle of the room we couldn't see okay still don't know like shouldn't there be a ceiling above you for security because what happens if a rock falls or goes so fast and you don't know it or see it and then like unless you have like maybe a psychic barrier around you which I guess is a possibility as well because real rulers would never show themselves in the open well except you uh like I said no ceiling um <laughs> Uh, let's see a lot of this doesn't seem different all of the human or all of humanity will fear this new unknown ruler everything will be in the palm of my hand I will enjoy watching humanity slowly perish yeah I think some of this dialogue is new because I, I remember this glass scene and I think I remember this with the where you see more of the couch and everything but I'm not sure but I don't remember this whole talk about like the perishing of humanity. Before that, Tatsumaka, you'll be the first one to die. Also her, my eyes have light up and I'm ominous is all hell moment. And here's Tatsumaki finally sensing. It's like, there you are. <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> found you, bitch. <laughs> it's like, found you? F she found me? No, that can't be. Oh no, she's going to kill me. No, she's going to hold me down and do naughty things. Um, how is that possible? I'm 15 um, meter, 1500 meter, 15 meters. <laughs> Wouldn't have been nothing at all. Um, 1500 meters underground. You were probably 1500 meters underground when they, Tatsumaki is right now. Um, anyway, um, even I had to set up several relay points along, or just so my telepathic waves can cover this distance. How could she have discovered my location? It's because she's Tatsumaki and too powerful. No. Okay, well that's a nice boob shot. I only think we got this panel here. It even looks like it's in a different shading than the original, so that's that's good. But I do remember this like Tatsumaki's eyes like looming over. It's like I see you. I'm coming to get you. She's looking right at me. And there's the the meat puppet. We saw that scene before. Was she able to sense the distance location or the distant location of the signal source from the tiny amount of psychic wave or telepathic waves coming out of my Goro Goro puppet? Crap. What does Goro Goro mean? I need to look that up, because, like, there's a reason you called your puppet that. Stop hiding all the time. And she's, she's like, doing her little thing. Come out and join the party. And going all the way down, and then here goes Goro Goro with her, you know, weird, like, She's being pulled up to the ceiling. Though she's not being pulled up to the ceiling, so it's kind of weird, you know, but she drops her glass. I'm being restrained. She's making a move. Boobs! Um, th th there's so many boobs. I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, cadres, anyone will do. Can someone distract Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki for me? And this is when she'll mention Rover. Oh, right. Where's Rover? Rover should be free to move, and it should be able to get here immediately. Yeah, people were like, I forget exactly how it was stated, but like the thing about like the relationship between Rover and everything. I was like, but at the time, Rover wasn't fighting anybody. So that's why I was like, it's like, sure, I never set him up to fight anyone. So yes, come save me, boy. Come save me. Maximum telepathy output. Overgrown Rover, hurry up and immobilize. Go get Tatsumaki. And here's the lightning blast from his attack. And this looks about the same. It's still awesome. They're they're fleeing from the blast, but oh wait, that that wasn't. Oh, that got retconned. 
I want it go back. It's right here. Yeah, they got retconned. She doesn't have the barrier up. So they're just evading it this time. Well. Well, damn. <laughs> that was a cool feat for uh, Fubuki. And you just kind of took it away. But then that probably brings up hope that probably 124 will have some redraws and stuff. And, and if anyone wants me to uh, react to that, please let me know. Um, but yeah. Also, I think this chapter was two pages longer than the original yeah hmm. and heck that was with the fact that um the original had like that that full spread of what all the covers look like in like poster form so so this one definitely had a few more things added to it also i need to look yeah we didn't get the pig god information either did we yeah it like almost immediately started off with talking about like the different um, S classes and like how they, you know, come to fear and everything. So yeah, that that got taken out. Well, dang, that sucked. I I rather liked that because it 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 gave hype to Pig God, because like and it gave some explanation to why he is the way he is, kind of, you know, or how he's able to fight anyway. So that's a little disappointing, you know. But, you know, it, it, it's fine, I suppose. Um, hmm. Still pretty good. Uh, some of the dialogue, you know, was changed and everything. Some of the additional panels were nice. That the I mean, the obvious one being, like, the, the research lab down there in that 1,500 meter um, stairway. Why a stairway? I'm still not getting over that. Um, but yeah. Huh. Interesting. But anyway, um, depending if Fabuki doesn't get totally retconned in what she's able to do in, um, the next couple of chapters, I'm hoping not, because I actually have a Fabuki power-up video on the way, and, uh, hmm, it's sad that she wasn't defending I guess sometimes the awesome things have to come later. But I don't know. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Um, I mean, most of it seemingly was the same. So, <clears throat> but still enjoyable. I enjoyed reading it just as much, if not more, than I did the first time. Other than that slight bit of Pig God missing. But it seemed like everything else probably was there, so... But anyway, um, let me know what you thought of the revised version and everything and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, follow me on all my social medias because I stream on Twitch, which then I upload to YouTube. I tweet out when stuff goes live and when things are posted on the channel so that you're always in the know. Um, join the Discord. I'm part of a couple podcasts, the One Punch Man podcast and the uh, weekly manga podcast that I co-host with Griever, and uh, the One Punch podcast is on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check out their channels, and uh, yeah, check out my other stuff, see what you like, um, let me know what you want to see in the future, and uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, Keeshlings, revive!